Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you to pick up your Bible. Turn with me to the book of James, chapter 1. For the next few days, we'll be looking at verses 1 through 12. And I'll bring to you a series of devotions that I've titled, Why Am I Going Through This Trial? Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together. Have an encounter with God. His precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. The best way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee and turning the pages of God's precious word and having an encounter with him. Well, friend, over in James chapter 1, verses 1 through 12, the Bible says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that she may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted, but the rich in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass he pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. And friend, I pray that God will add his blessings to the reading of the scripture. As I said to you in the beginning, uh, the title of this devotional series is Why Am I Going Through This Trial? By way of introduction, one of the best tests of Christian growth and maturity is trouble. My friend, when a believer goes through personal trials, they discover the kind of faith they really possessed. Trials not only reveal our faith, but they also develop our character. James is written to show us that God is trying to produce in us the kind of faith that overcomes. The trying, the Bible says, of your faith worketh patience. Patience is enduring faith. Faith with what I call staying power. These 12 verses of scripture that I read are speaking of the trials and tests that come into our lives from outside circumstances. God is trying to produce in every one of us, in every child of God, faith that overcomes, faith that endures, and faith that truly has staying power. Far too many children of God fall by the wayside when temptation and trials come. My friend, God is trying to produce an inward change by allowing and even ordaining outward trials to build in us an overcoming faith. He wants us to understand that trials in the Christian life are not unique. They are for every child of God. Friend, if you're going through trials right now, and we seem to be with COVID-19, realize that God is not picking on you. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13, 
The Bible says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Well, hallelujah. Boy, that'll make you shout a little bit. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able, but with will with the temptation also make a way to the escape that you may be able to bear it. Friend, remember, God has a purpose, and he'll use what's going on in your life to strengthen your faith. This is going to be a good series. Continue to tune in. Pray with me. Father, thank you for the power of this word. Use it in our lives for your glory to strengthen our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray you'll go out into your world today. Do your best to make a difference in it. Remember to smile as you go. Let others see the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. It could be the only Bible some will ever read. If you don't get out, pick up your phone, call your neighbor, encourage them in the Lord. They need to hear a voice, a word from God, and your voice may be the only word from God they'll ever hear. So let people see and hear Jesus in all that you do. Your life could be the only Bible some will ever read. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.